Good day grade 8 learners! For today's video ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano kunin ang factor ng sum or difference of 2 cubes. Meron tayong pattern na pwede nating sundin sa sum or difference of 2 cubes. So dito muna tayo sa una, sum of 2 cubes. So kapag i-factor natin yan, kunin lang yung cube root ng first term, that is A, then kopyahin yung sign plus kunin ang cube root ng second term, so B. Then, i-multiply natin ito sa square ng first term dito sa binomial. So, ang square ng first term ay A squared. Then, i-multiply ang first term at second term, so that is AB. Multiply it by negative, kaya negative AB. Plus, square the second term, that would be equal to B squared. So, ganun po ang magiging pattern sa sum of cubes. Dito naman sa difference of 2 cubes, ganun din ang magkiiba nga lang dito ay yung sign. So, get the cube root of the first term, that is A. Kopyahin yung sign. Then, cube root of second term, that is B. Multiply it by square of the first term in the binomial. So, A is squared. Multiply the first term and second term, that is negative AB. Times negative, magiging positive AB. Plus, square the second term, so B squared. So, ganito po ang pattern na gagamitin natin. But first, dapat marunong tayong kumuha ng cube root of the perfect cubes. Example, ang cube root ng 8 is equal to 2. Kasi, 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Ang cube root naman ng 64 is equal to 4. Since 4 raised to 3 or 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. So, ganun po ang pagkuha ng cube root. Kapag naman variable, for example, ang cube root ng x cube is equal to x. Since x raised to 3 or x times x times x equals x cube. Okay? Or another example, cube root of x raised to the power of 6 equals x raised to 2. Since x squared times x squared times x squared equals x raised to 6. So, basta mag-isip lang kayo ng numbers or variable na kapag minultiply nyo sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses, ang magiging sagot niya ay yung nasa loob ng radical sign. So, let's have an example para maintindihan natin. Number 1, we have x cubed minus 8. So, this is a difference of 2 cubes. Ang gagawin lang ninyo, kunin ninyo yung cube root ng first term. So, ang cube root ng first term equals x. So, ilagay natin dito sa first term. Kopyahin yung sign, minus, and then kunin naman yung cube root ng 8 that is equal to 2. So, si 2 ilalagay natin dito. So, ito na yung first term natin. Ngayon, mag-focus tayo dito sa binomial na to. So, ang ilalagay natin sa first term dito sa trinomial ay yung square ng first term dito sa binomial. So, x times x equals x squared ilalagay dito. Okay? Then, ang sign natin kapag minus is plus dito. Multiply the first term, x times the second term, that is 2, equals 2x. Ilalagay si 2x dito sa middle term. Lastly, square the second term. So, si 2, i-multiply mo sa sarili niya ng dalawang beses. 2 times 2 equals 4, at yun ang ilalagay natin dito. And this is now the factor of x cubed minus 8. Ito na po ang final answer. Okay? Number 2, 8y cubed minus 216x raised to 3. So, first, kunin natin ang cube root ng 8y raised to 3. Kunin muna yung cube root ng number, that is 2. Cube root ng y cube is y. So, yun ang ilalagay natin sa first term. Kopyahin yung sign that is minus. Kunin ang cube root ng second term. So, the cube root of 
x raised to 3 equals 6x. Kasi 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. At x times x times x equals x raised to 3. Si 6x ilalagay natin dito. And then proceed na tayo sa trinomial. Maglagay tayo ng mas malaking parenthesis dito. Mag-focus tayo dito. 2y squared or 2y times 2y equals 4y squared. Yun yung ilalagay dito sa first term. And then kapag negative yung given, ang middle term natin ay plus. Multiply the first term and the second term. So 2y times 6x, that is equal to 12xy. Yun ang ilalagay naman dito sa middle term. Then, get the square of the second term. 6x times 6x equals 36x squared. Yun naman ang ilalagay dito sa last term. Okay, so the final answer is 2y minus 6x times 4y squared plus 12xy plus 36x squared. Okay po. Next, let's proceed to example number 3 x cubed plus 27. So, dito naman plus yung sign. At ang gagawin natin, kopahin lang yung sign. Ang cube root ng x cubed ay x. So, ilalagay si x dito. Plus, ang cube root ni 27 is equal to 3. Okay? Then, kunin na natin yung trinomial. First, i-square natin si first term. So, x times x equals x squared. Yun ang ilalagay dito. Kapag plus dito, ang sign natin sa middle term ay minus. Multiply the first term and the second term in the binomial. So, magiging 3x or x3. Lalagay naman natin to dito. Then, square the second term. 3 times 3 equals 9. At yun ang ilalagay natin dito sa third term. So, the final answer is x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. Okay, last example, we have 125a cubed minus 64. Kunin natin yung cube root ng first term. So, ang cube root ng 125a cubed equals 5a. Si 5 times 5 times 5 equals 1 to 5 and a raised to 3 is a cube. And then, ang cube root naman ng 64 is equal to 4. Okay, so ang first term natin dito is 5a. Ang sign is minus and ang second term is 4. Then, malaking parenthesis for the trinomial. Square the first term dito sa binomial. So, 5a times 5a or 5a squared equals 25a squared. So, yun ang ilalagay natin dito. Kapag minus dito, ang sign natin dito is plus. Multiply the first term and the second term. 5a times 4 equals 20a. So, 20a ilagay natin dito. Next, square the second term. So, 4 times 4 equals 16. So, ang ilalagay natin dito is 16. So, ganun lamang ang pagkuha ng factors ng sum or difference of two cubes. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Once again, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!